Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will create a cool and easy intro and outro in Filmora 12.5. So without any further delay, let's start today's video. First go to the preferences and change the image duration to 10 frames. Then drop all 15 or 20 images on track 1. On last 4 images, use text which is related to your channel. Using bold font with size of 100. Also you can check out these new VFX text and you can use these VFX text to make it more catchy. Then take a snapshot of all the text with background and replace the 4 last images with the snapshot. Then go to the transitions and search for page and apply page curl on your first and second image. Then change the transition duration to 10 frames. Then apply page curl transition on all the images. This will create this kind of effect. Now export it at a higher rate, then delete all the images from media bin and import recently create clip along with your background, logo, black YouTube logo and color YouTube logo. Make background 15 seconds long, then drop clip on track 4. Go to the speed and select speed ramp. Use montage preset and adjust it according to your need and requirement. Then place the playhead at the end and create freeze frame. Then go to the mask and select black YouTube logo as a mask. Then place the playhead at a start. Go to the video and increase the scale and on transform keyframe. Then go to the 4 second mark and reduce the scale to 60%. Then go to the 7 second mark and change scale to 50%. Then on drop shadow and give shadow according to your need. Then place the playhead at 4 seconds and drop YouTube logo on track 5. Increase its duration, change scale to 60. Then at 7 second change scale to 50. Change blend mode to color burn or if you wish to you can start the logo at 3 seconds. Adjust the scale and change opacity to 0%. Then at 4 seconds change opacity to 100 and adjust the scale. Check the effect. Then place the playhead at 6 seconds and drop YouTube logo again on track 6. Extend it then change scale on keyframe and then at 7 seconds decrease scale to 50. At start set opacity to 0 and at 7 seconds set it back to 100. Then decrease the track 5 YouTube logo and main clip. Then after a second Change scale to 0 and opacity to 0. Then place the playhead between 2nd and 3rd keyframe and drop logo on new track at the playhead position. Reduce its scale and reduce opacity to 0. Then on transform and opacity keyframe. Then after 10 frames change opacity to 100 and increase scale of logo accordingly. And after 10 frames add blank keyframe. Then after 10 frames shift logo upward. Then drop background image on track 5 at third keyframe location. Go to the mask and use linear mask and rotate it. Adjust its position. It will work as a mask for our text. Now here you can use new VFX text or you can use any text template. Drop the text and start it with the background image on track 5. Enter your word. Choose in animation and adjust the scale and position. Then after few frame adjust the text upward. Or if you want to use it in continuation, you can use mask to create a transition. Use circle mask, then use keyframes and use opacity keyframe for logo and text. Further use audio visualizer on track 2 and 3. Best one is white digit wave 4. Go to the audio and use music of your choice. Also you can use audio driven effect to make your intro unique. So that effect works according to the music beat. Now let's render it to see the final preview. That's it guys, further you can use it as a outro, just reverse all clip with circular mask to make outro and use blank space on right and left of your logo for end screen. If you like this video hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. See you all in my next video till then stay safe goodbye.